Race number six then, class four contest uh, here for the next event over the 1650. Headed by Nothing New. He drops in class, as does our Creed. Gets a gear change as well, our Creed. Blinkers off, visor going on for the first time. Romantic Combo placed third in his two starts back this campaign. King Dragon was a course and distance winner last season. Was fourth first up behind Shadow Breaker this campaign. Judy's star, two-time winner over the 1,200 metres, but jumps up to the extended mile here. Faithful Trinity's a four-time winner here over the 1650. Moonluck second up now, and Son of McPhee, course and distance winner last season. Zach Purton on boards 119 possibly a pound over there maybe uh, from barrier number 11 Tom yeah well, we might see our uh, Creed maybe go forward to here under Harry Bentley um, he's a horse that uh, was handy enough last time out so the blinkers are off and the visor uh, goes on and he had been a leader in New Zealand prior to arriving uh, our Creed uh, nothing new uh, he led up in a, a recent uh, barrier trial he was near the speed and uh, looked to win that in good style it's uh, nothing new uh, Moonluck has drawn awkwardly in 12 but uh, is another one that has pushed forward in the past uh, faithful Trinity a lot of money for him and he was off the pace last time out but never ran on and uh, son of McPhee on the three wide line with romantic combo uh, back in the field out of barrier number eight Mm. So, with cover there, romantic co cover, uh, combo even, <laughs> um, but uh, wide as well. As we have a look at his last start effort, uh, Paul, finishing third over the 1400. Yeah, look, he's still a maiden romantic combo. I mean, his best effort here in Hong Kong is a third, he, but he has done that five times, uh, and two of them have been at the last two starts at uh, Sha Tin. He's drawn awkwardly a little bit in barrier number eight. I've included him, but not on the win line. He's only had one run at Happy Valley in the past. He's been a really frustrating horse to follow for uh, win backers in particular. He just hasn't been able to get his nose in front. And last uh, time out, uh, look, I don't think he had, again had too many excuses. He might have copped a little bit of a check down the back straight, but he had plenty of time to uh, recover from that. So he's just becoming a little frustrating. And he's always in the market. Mm. Um, he's a romantic combo. King Dragon fares best uh, this night. Uh, Tom, um, what of him and the others as well? I thought Nunchucks could improve. Yeah, I think he can improve as well. Uh, he's a horse that's uh, won course and distance in the past. King Dragon has won course and distance in the past, but he doesn't win out of turn. He's a, a one-time winner. And look, he was uh, narrowly beaten last time out uh, when Shadowbreaker came and uh, mugged them all down the outside. But he loomed up like he was probably going to go on and uh, win the race. And we've seen the, the horse on the inside there, Paul. Uh, place and the, the horse in the middle go down as favourite the weekend. Yeah, it was terrible, wasn't he? Um, in his feeling, but mm -hmm. um, as you say, Charizard did, did run a good race, so he was placed, wasn't he? Um, look, I, I'm taking Nunchucks out of that as well. I think he's an improvement. Okay, back to the trials here to have a look at uh, Nothing New and uh, Moonluck. Nothing New gets the class drop, uh, Paul, and also moves from Michael Chang to Douglas White. New stable, class drop, gear changes, hood goes on him. Uh, really nice trial from him. I think he'll go forward in this race. He's drawn awkwardly a little bit in barrier 10, but he's definitely improved. So, look, I, I'm, I'm going to go with him, actually. Yeah, so am I. Uh, trial was really good. So held together down towards uh, the line. Uh, was up on the speed and looked to do it too fairly easily. And he's a horse that pretty much four of his last five starts, he's been there or thereabouts in the market. So there's obviously some level of uh, ability there with him, I feel. Mm, doesn't need a, a massive um, change of fortune to win this, I don't no. think. Uh, Paul, he's our favourite as well. Yeah, so he's on top. Um, we're going to go with him on top with the from the from with those gear changes, the new stable and the downgrade. So he's on top to beat uh, Son of McPhee. He's in there for second, but unlucky at his last start. Romantic combo, I've got him running third again, and nunchucks for fourth. One, twelve, three, and four. I've actually got the, the same four numbers in the, the same four order. I think uh, nothing new uh, can come out and win for the, the new stable down in grey. Gear changes, uh, good trial. Uh, son of McPhee, it was a real dog's breakfast for him last time out. He got uh, knocked over at the 1300, nearly came down, was uh, hampered at the 550, held up on the turn, so it was a complete forget, and he's drawn awkwardly here. Uh, romantic combo, and uh, the other one I threw in was uh, number four, Nunchucks, uh, from Barry number one. It was a good run on the fence from him. I thought he stayed on quite OK, and he is a course and distance winner. So one, twelve, three, and 4. Nothing new for me as well. I think the class drop is key for him. The other horse I've included is King Dragon in my top four as well. But that's race number six, a class four over the 1650.